Hello folks and welcome back to the channel. I've got another tutorial for you today guys. First let's get this YouTube stuff out of the way. If you like content make sure to smack that like button. And then share it on your social media. And when you're sharing it on your social media go ahead and follow me on that bird app because I need a few more Twitter followers guys. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it already and click the notification bell for all. And if you've got any questions or comments guys just leave them underneath the video and I'll get back to you guys. Those are all the free and easy things that you can do to help support the channel. If you want to support the channel directly, look down in the description, use that Ko-Fi link for a one-time tip or join as a channel member on the subscribe star. Otherwise, underneath the YouTube video, click the join button or the super thanks button. Alright guys, let's get into this. All right, guys, welcome to my messy, messy, messy desktop. Uh, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be converting a CBBE outfit into 3BA. You can also do this from 3BA to CBA, CBBE the same way. So I'm going to be working on, I'm going to be working with the uh, Maya Goddess body outfit here from sun jiang because i'm working on it with a mod so we're going to convert this to 3ba first thing you have to do is you have to have the body slide files for the 3ba body installed into into your body slide in in addition to the cbbe so first you open it open this up in outfit studio and you're going to want to go ahead and just delete this cbbe body just like that and then you want to go over here to the sliders and push delete sliders and it'll say are you sure uh no i'm not sure actually uh, i'm gonna go ahead and load my reference and as you can see i already got the 3ba body picked so you click on file load reference and then from template and click your body so push ok and that will replace all the sliders with the new stuff and what you're going to want to do all you're really going to want to do is right click on the uh the shape and Click on copy bone weights and I usually just go ahead and crank the sliders all the way up here push OK that's done go to slider set base shape and then go to file save project as and I'm working off of an existing body slide so I'm gonna put a 3BA at the end of it And I'm going to push to project just like that. And I am going to push save. And we're going to close that out and we'll close out Outfit Studio. I have Outfit Studio installed into my into my data folder or body slide installed into my data folder. And I have it installed through Mod Organizer too. So, so this is up and you can see that this here same outfit and we'll make sure all the sliders work for it and we'll use my thick thick body here and everything works correctly now if I wanted this to be 3BA in my in my mod or if I wanted to be this to put this out as 3BA I, all I do is just build this and it will build it exactly to where the CBBE body goes because I'm going to show you why you go to save project as here save project and you can see that there's the uh, file path for it right and then we'll go to the 3BA body one open that up and we'll go to save project 
and you can see it's the exact same file path that has the same name on the body on the output file name and the output da data path so we'll go to the same place so that's good so that's all there is to it now if you want to convert it back to cbbe all you do is just if you're converting an outfit from cbb from 3ba to cbbe you just reverse the process delete the 3ba body import your cbbe uh body i use the cbbe physics just like that and then you copy the bone weights Like that, and then save save the project as a CBBE at the end of the thing instead of three three BA like I did before. That's all you got to do for that. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this one. Thanks for watching, and remember, if you found this information helpful, go ahead smash that like button, and then share it on your social media. When you share it on your social media, follow me on that bird app. Link is in the description. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell for all. If you got any questions or comments, just leave them down below the video and I'll get back to you. That's all the free and easy things you can do to help support the channel. If you want to support the channel directly, look in the description. Use the Ko-Fi link for a one-time tip or the subscribe star link to join as a channel member. Otherwise, underneath the YouTube video, use the sub join button or the super thanks button. Okay, guys, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching, and remember, until next time, keep your sword sharp, don't be a milk drinker, and always watch the skies, traveler.